Hey guys, this week we're going to talk about landscapes and then we're going to talk about how we're going to take the idea of a landscapes and how we're going to include pencil shading showing values and color pencil showing values. Okay, so what I want to start with is drawing a landscape. And so what I'm doing is I'm using a Sharpie so you can see my lines. Um, I have three examples and then we're going to talk about actually drawing one. Okay, but the first thing we need to understand is in a landscape or a seascape, mountainscape, um, you have a foreground, you have a middle ground, and you have a background, okay? So, and what that does is that shows depth in your landscape, okay? So you wanna make sure that when you do draw a landscape, you're drawing a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. And I would recommend to always have a horizon line, which is this line right here underneath my trees, this line right there, that's my horizon line on this one. Okay, the horizon line is a horizontal line and that kind of helps everything that you're drawing be grounded. Okay, so nothing's floating, it makes sense. All right, so on this one, my foreground is my trees, or my tree, and then I have some rocks. Those are the things that are close. The one you have um, in your foreground should always be comparisonly or proportionally bigger than things that may be in your background or your middle ground. And the reason why is, is because they are up close. So prospectively, whatever is closer to you, that would be in your foreground. So here's my foreground. And then as I move further back, things start to get a little bit more smaller. So then I have my middle ground, okay? And then they get smaller as I go to my background. So now my trees back here are basically a shadow, okay? All right, so another example on this one, I drew a road. All right, so foreground, bigger, it's my tree. And then if you notice on the road, and again, this is done with a Sharpie, so it's kind of a quick drawing just like the other ones. Um, the lines are a little bit bigger, but as they move down, like you're going down the road, they get smaller. So perspectively, bigger, smaller, okay? So foreground, middle ground, and then background, okay? And again, horizon line, okay? All right, so I have my horizon line, I have my foreground, I have my middle ground, and I have my background. All right, and this one's trees, mountains, and a road. All right, this one I got a little bit creative with for you. Um, so I drew, I started with the horizon line, I drew a river, and then I drew the house, and then I decided that I wanted a bridge, okay? So my bridge is my foreground, okay? And the house is gonna be in my middle ground, it's a little bit smaller, and then in my background, I have my trees, or you could call these mountains. Now, if you notice, same way with the road, the road started bigger, but as it moves to the background, it gets smaller. The river starts bigger in the foreground, and as it moves back, it gets smaller, okay? All right, so I'm gonna keep the Sharpie. Um, just so well, you can see my lawns a little bit better. All right, so I like to, and this is the reason why you really wanna make sure you're using pencil because you're about to see where I'm gonna overlap lines and I should be able to erase. Start with the horizon line. Now you need a sign. Do you want a seascape, mountainscape, landscape? And there's all types of things that you can do in creating this, okay? Um, I think for this one, I'll do a seascape just because I haven't done one yet with you. So I might want to, Maybe I want to put some rocks right here. Want the waves crashing. And then I, what I could do is on my rock, I could draw a lighthouse. So, and then again, this is where you want a pencil. So this one would be colored in. This one. And then this one. I'm just doing a quick sketch. Okay, so and then maybe I want to extend my rock out just a little bit. Now I want to put some grass by my lighthouse. Okay, 
So, so far I have a lighthouse, I have a line. How do we know that this is a sea? So we gotta make it the sea. All right, so let's put some waves. All right, maybe I want a sailboat. And a sailboat's gonna be in the water some. Maybe a sail is blowing. Maybe a stripes on sail. Okay. Ocean is in the water. So we gotta work on these things to give it that perspective of what we're doing. All right, and then maybe back here, I want some little mountains. Um, I would refrain from, because you are in high school, do not put the sun in the corner. You wanna, if, when you go to color, that's when you're gonna put the, the presence of the sun, okay? So. All right, so what we wanna do is up here in the front, the waves are a lot bigger. All right, and we'll put that in when we go to color. Um, again, these are line designs right now. All right. So, and maybe I want some clouds. All right, so foreground, middle ground, background. That's a seascape, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put my Sharpie up. And this time I'm going to draw in pencil. And then that way you can see me drawing in pencil, okay? Um, I really like the idea of a bonsai tree, so I want to draw a bonsai tree, um, and I'm just going to kind of go with it. So, looking at Google, sometimes, if you know what you're doing, you can draw your everything first and then put in your horizon line. So, I'm about to show you one of the reasons why I want to do it like this, because I want to show you what um, happens if you don't use a horizon line. And then, and then that way I can slide the horizon line in there. Looks like a bonsai tree is full of clouds. And I'm just gonna sketch these in because what we wanna do with this assignment is we want to just get the general sketch in um, because you will be coloring, you will be putting in pencil shades. Um, so all those details will come in. But get the general sketch in so you know what your, your plan is, map it out, and then we'll go from there. All right, so let's just say this is the tree. All right, um, even if I were to put some grass right here, you can't really tell that it's a tree until I put in the horizon line. So now we kind of see that, okay, she's about to make a landscape. All right, and so on this one, I think I want to, I'm gonna create a river that goes in front of the bonsai tree. Bonsai tree is like water, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Yeah, I may put a bridge over it, I'm not sure yet. All right, and then instead of mountains, I think I'm just gonna do some hills. All right, so even right here, I have my foreground. The river kind of works as my middle ground and my background. And now if I wanted to throw something back here, just say this is my middle ground, I can do that, okay? So but as long as I'm looking at your artwork and I see depth in your landscape, then we are good. All right, so once we have our landscape figured out and it's mapped out, we're good. Um, and then I'll come back in and put the details on so you can watch. But, so what we're going to do in order to incorporate the idea of using color pencils and pencil shade in the same artwork, we are going to draw a pair of glasses on top. Okay, so before you shade, before you color, you're going to go ahead and draw your glasses. Or you can, um, and I can show you how to do this in another video, but you can draw it on another piece of paper and then transfer it onto here so that way you don't mess up. And I'll make another video that shows you how to do that. But, um, see if I go down, these curve.
but you don't have to draw the legs. All right, so in just a second, I'm going to uh, let the video go so I can fine-tune this. Um, but anyway, so pair of glasses. All right, so in the lens, this is all going to be color. And then everything outside is going to be pencil shade. So whatever kind of glasses you want to do. You can even do the stars if you want to do the stars. Um, you, can, you can do Oakley's. If you want to do the Oakley shave, you can do Harry Potter style. If you want to do the Harry Potter style glasses, um, so you can make these all a lot bigger if you want to, or if you're really good at pencil shading, they can be a little bit smaller. That's up to you. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna let you go, and then, uh, well, not gonna let you go. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop the video, and then I'm gonna play it again for you guys to, so it can play a little bit faster, and you guys can watch me make this magic. All right, don't forget, show values with pencil, show values with color pencil, remember the blending. Thank you.
Oh, you may.